I mean, honestly, after the game, I was kind of confused because in my college games, I was nervous before college games, but I was like super relaxed out there. Like, I was just like, there's nothing to lose. Go out here, have fun, play, and, and show what you got, well, honestly. Why do, you think, why do you think that was? Um, again, you know, I think, I think just um, kind of getting the green light from Braves and my coach to just go hard, go play, and we'll fix the stuff on film. I mean, when someone tells you that, when they just want to see you play hard and effort, and you can just go out there and run around full speed, you make good things happen, and it's easier to uh, fix, the, fix the stuff later. Uh, I mean, always um, there's a lot of technique stuff, and pad level would be my two biggest things. You know, uh, if I could get pad level better and have great technique, the sky's the limit, I feel like. So you got to keep working on those basic things. I mean, you know, those guys are always messing with me, so they're hyping me up and stuff, and I'm just like, chill, like, got to stay level headed. And they're like, it's okay to be happy and smile. But I'm walking out around here just trying to, you know, stay focused and you know we got to keep building on each day. What do you imagine the difference between some of the guys that went out last during the course of that game and the guys that have been going up against in the course of the game when you started Slaughter Hale? I mean, obviously, I don't know exactly who was out there on the field, but obviously, I don't think it was their starters. You know, that's how preseason goes. So when you get out there and say I'm in a rotation or something, there's going to be you know higher level, higher level, higher level competition, and more experienced guys maybe. So you got to be on top of that technique and the uh, pad level and stuff like that, or you'll get exposed essentially. How important do you feel like this joint practice with the Bucks going against a good offensive line and all the good people? I think it'll be great. You know, anytime you get to have that many days against great competition against a different team. Um, you know, there's, the competition is going to be high. It's going to be fiery out there. And you have to bring it every day because guys will be out there with cameras and, you know, looking to post stuff everywhere. So you don't want to be the guy getting exposed uh, in practice. How important is it for Sean for you to kind of make an impact against the run as well as the pass? I mean, uh, everything starts with the run. You know, you don't uh, get a rest of passer unless you stop the run. If you don't stop the run, they're just going to run the uh, ball all game long and you'll get no pass rush attempts. So that's the. Um, the base of our defense, nothing starts, I mean, everything starts around stopping the run. So if we don't do that, then we won't even get the chance to rush the passer. Has it been doing more like stand up stuff as opposed to hands in the dirt? Has that been a, a big adjustment for you? Um, just how, how, how is that kind of uh, it, it was at first, but I'm getting more comfortable. You know, every day is another day to add on top of that. And since Bud's been back, he's one of the uh, taller, bigger outside linebackers like me. I've asked him for a lot of pointers and stuff, how he does his stance. So uh, definitely getting more comfortable each day and it's becoming easier.